is Halloween, and for some that means costumes and candy, but for others it involves trying to create a pipeline to the paranormal. A West Michigan cemetery is considered to be one of the most haunted in the entire United States. Decades worth of common unexplained experiences have all given birth to the spooky legend. Ren has more in tonight's Our Michigan Life. Thanks, Val. The Blue Man, the Stairway to Hell, and the Lost Gateway. These are the three of the many legendary stories that have been told for decades about the unexplained events happening at Grand Haven's Lake Forest Cemetery. There are believers and there are skeptics. Over a hundred curious individuals recently got a guided tour through the graveyard to find out for themselves on this Halloween Eve. You get to take that tour with them. It's a signature destination. A crown jewel along Michigan's west coast. Residents and visitors can't seem to get enough. We're hoping that people get interested in the community and in our history. But there's more to Coast Guard City, USA than boats, beaches, and a boardwalk. It all comes down to belief and experience. To really get to know Grand Haven, I can't prove that ghosts exist. You have to go or that hauntings even exist beneath the surface. There are so many hidden stories in the cemetery. Lake Forest Cemetery. It's old. A garden of stones. Super pretty. As far as the eye can see. It goes back to 1873. But with age comes legend. I believe there's something we can't explain. Based on experiences, many have concluded not all of the souls resting here are truly at rest. Maybe something in our energetic being does leave something behind that people are picking up on or seeing somehow. We are asking everyone to sign our waiver. The myth of Lake Forest Cemetery. What if we run out of pages? Is hard to resist. 112 here tonight. That is amazing. A graveyard ghost story stroll. We can all crowd right in here. At dusk. Who knew that? How many people did not know that? With the hope of learning more. We came up with some great stories that we want to share with you tonight. About the lore. We're going to head that way. One of the first stops. One of the oldest on record. Potter's Field. Well, that rooted me. I was like, where Grand that? Haven's oh. poor and unidentified are buried. Anywhere from 1,200 to 1,500 bodies buried side by side on top of each other in this space. Some claim to have had unexplained experiences while walking by. So when I came through and took someone who claimed to be psychic and felt things through this area, they knew nothing about the history of this spot. And so as we walked through, he stopped and said, wait a minute, what is, what is going on here? This is weird. And the only way he could describe what he was seeing was how he said oil slicks just moving through the air above him. I don't like the spot. Off to the next location to learn about the legend. It doesn't look so scary anymore. Of the blue man. There's a cool old tombstone up there. To get there, walking up what legend calls the stairway to hell is required. Up here, if you've ever been in the cemetery, is Fairy Hill. It's named Fairy Hill because William Ferry, one of Grand Haven's founding fathers, is buried there, along with all of his relatives. The blue man is a glowing blue figure that has been seen up on that hill looking down. Those who have seen it believe the blue man is William Ferry. One of the stories always said too that he was upset about his tomb being vandalized, so now he watches and he waits for anyone to come back up and disturb him and his relatives while a shroud of darkness starts to cast over the crypts. We're gonna go to an unmarked grave, unmarked intentionally, I'll tell you why, let's go. The final tale is told. Right here is an unmarked grave of Peter Koopman. It was late November, 1922. Koopman owned a saloon in downtown Grand Haven. Prohibition didn't prevent him from making his moonshine. One night, Peter Koopman shot his wife, Kate, in the back. The murder was here. This house is a consignment store right by the library called Second Impression, where this happened. When you walk into this consignment store, there's a big, beautiful wooden staircase going to the upstairs, and she was found crumpled there right at the bottom. In recent years, owners of the store said, They'd hear sounds, footsteps, especially the 
upstairs where the formal wear is sold. The formal wear would be cleaned up the next day. One of the workers, the girls that was working there, uh, she was a high schooler, and right during the day, not at night when most people expect it, she saw a full-bodied white apparition come down the stairs and disappear. A paranormal investigation was performed. And we got an interesting recording. You hear a very creepy voice say, I'm not happy, I'm not happy, I'm not happy. And then there's a pause. And then you hear a very breathy, help me. Because of what he did, Peter Koopman's family never gave him a gravestone. Are there restless spirits swirling above Potter's Field? Is William Ferry guarding the graves atop Ferry Hill? Does the ghost of Kate Koopman still reside inside the home where she was murdered? Maybe these stories will spark some interest in our community's history. There is one certainty. You can't deny that something is going on. A lot of people want that validation that there's something else beyond you know, our mortal existence. Very rarely do you get something, but again, it's when you do get something unexplainable that keeps you searching. Now, the tour through Lake Forest Cemetery had 18 different stops. We only had time to profile three of them. Maybe Coast Guard City USA should change its name to Ghost Guard City USA. What do you think? I think there's, there's some marketing behind Ooh, that. We can get some hats and t-shirts and I mugs made for that. I love a good right? ghost story. I especially love the um, consignment shop with the bullet hole. Oh, oh, the bullet hole right there in the wall. Still from when that shot was fired in 1922 and the vines growing yeah. all outside. Gives you some chills. Good I stuff. love it. Good stuff.